Hi everybody, in today's tutorial, if you liked my Oreo brownies, you are going to love these brownies. I'm showing you my grasshopper brownies and they're coming right up. Hi everybody, welcome back to my kitchen. I'm Amy from Neurotic Mom Bakes and today we are making grasshopper brownies. If you liked my Oreo brownies, you're going to love these ones. Now, if you don't know what grasshopper cookies are, or grasshopper brownie is, grasshopper is just, it's a mint chocolate cookie. And we're going to take that mint flavor, mint chocolate flavor, and put it into some brownies. All right, let's start. This is really easy, you don't need a mixer, it's just a one bowl recipe. I have three quarters of a cup of granulated sugar. And then I'm going to get a half a cup of brown sugar. This is a quarter measuring cup right here. There's one quarter and a half. And I'm going to melt a half a cup of butter. All right, so I've got this fully melted hot butter and that's going to dissolve the sugars. I'm just gonna stir until it's all combined and the sugar is dissolved. Perfect, just like that. Now I'm going to add two eggs and one teaspoon of vanilla. I always just eyeball vanilla. And then I'm gonna use a whisk and I'm gonna go ahead and whisk this for 30 seconds or 60 seconds until it's really smooth and it lightens in color and increases in volume just a little bit. This is a key step in making brownies, so make sure you don't skip this. Okay, see that? See how it's, it's a lot lighter? It's increased in volume a little bit and it's really smooth. To add a little bit more of the mint flavor, what I did is I bought a package of Andy's mints. They're chocolate mints. I'm gonna show you what they look like. So they come in a green package and there's a bunch of these inside and they're just little chocolate mint chocolates. And I'm going to melt those down. I need a cup. I need this to measure a cup, but I don't, this doesn't quite make a cup. So I'm gonna just add some chocolate chips. Um, and then I'm gonna go ahead and melt this all the way down. Okay, so I've got my melted chocolate here and I'm just going to pour this in. Now, if you didn't, if you can't find the Andes mints or like a mint chocolate candy, uh, you can just use the regular chocolate chips and then at the end you could add a little, like maybe an eighth to a quarter of a teaspoon of peppermint extract or you can just go with the mint that's in the grasshopper cookies themselves. Okay, I'm gonna mix this in. Okay, now before I add my dry ingredients, so I'm gonna open up my package of cookies and I'm going to just put, I don't know, like 12 to 15 in a plastic baggie. You could also pulse them in your blender or food processor. And I'm just gonna kind of crush these up. I want these crushed into smaller pieces. This, these will go directly in the batter. I am going to add one half a cup plus two tablespoons of all-purpose flour. And then I'm going to add a quarter of a cup plus two tablespoons of cocoa, unsweetened cocoa. There's a quarter and then half a teaspoon of salt. All right, this is another really important step. Do not over mix your brownies. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use a spatula and I'm just gonna start gently folding in the dry ingredients, just a little bit. And then at this point, still not even fully incorporated, I'm going to add, so this comes out to be about a cup of the crushed cookies is what I wanna add. And I'm just going to 
stir until I no longer see flour streaks. It's just barely, barely combined. Stop right there. I'm going to get my pan. For whatever reason, brownies will cook better in a metal pan. Glass pan will work fine, but a metal pan just, um, for whatever reason, just get, works a little bit better on just getting kind of that crisper edge. And I'm going to line it with parchment. So what I've done is I've lined a piece this way, sprayed it with cooking spray, and then I'm gonna line a piece the other way. And I want the parchment going up the sides because it's going to be easier to lift the brownies out of the pan. And then I'm gonna spray it again, making sure I get in those corners. Okay, and then I'm just going to spread my batter into the pan. Okay, I'm just gonna press this in, get to the corners. You just want to kind of get it evenly distributed so it bakes even. All right, now at this point, you're gonna take some of those extra cookies and I'm just gonna break them and place kind of larger chunks on top. Now, these are going to go in a 350 degree oven for about, oh, 25 to 35 minutes. You want the center to be just set. Um, they will continue to cook in the pan for another five minutes after you pull them out. Okay, my brownies are done. It is best to wait until they are completely cool before you cut them. I know that's hard to do, but if you wanna cut them into nice squares for like a serving platter, wait until they are fully cooled down. That takes at least an hour to two hours. I speed the process up by sticking them in the fridge. And then it's best to cut them when they're out of the pan. So that's why I lined, lined it with parchment like this. And that way you can lift it out of the pan and just remove the parchment. And then you're ready to cut. These on the serving plate. You can do nine large pieces. I'm actually going to do 16 smaller squares. When I first told my son I was making grasshopper cookies, he was horrified, thinking I was putting like crickets or grasshoppers in the, in the but it's just, um, I don't know if it's a USA thing, but it just means a chocolate mint cookie. Okay, the question I always ask, are you a corner piece brownie lover? Are you an edge or are you a center? Me, I go back and forth between an edge or a corner. I like some, some of the soft, but I also like kind of the more crisp edge. I actually put those in the freezer for a little bit too long trying to speed up the cooling process. They're still slightly pretty cold, but that's how I like them. I like cold or room temperature desserts. Let's do an edge here. Another two. Okay, yeah, that is so delicious. That's nice and fudgy and you get that little bit of mint chocolate in there that mint flavor and then you have like the crunch of the grasshopper cookie on top and it's so good okay so i hope you'll give these a try this is my second variation of a brownie that i've done and i'm going to keep coming up with new flavors but let me know how you like this one and if you want to see more recipes just like this make sure you subscribe to my channel see you next time